Okay, so for today's tutorial, I'm just going to be taking this simple part here, which could be, for example, from a bicycle frame and importing it into Abacus to produce this model here, or this assembly. I won't be doing any analysis on it, just showing you how to import. Okay. So we're going to start by creating a new part. So click new, part, we'll just call it a frame, <coughs> and click OK. Um, so here are our datum planes. We'll just start off by drawing a cylinder. All this is going to be done using surfaces as opposed to solid modeling. So just drawing in a circle of arbitrary radius, it doesn't really matter for this example. And I'm going to extrude that up this way. Again, an arbitrary length. And I'm just going to click this button up here to turn it into a surface as opposed to a solid. The surface is infinitely thin. There's no mass or thickness associated with it. So just accept that. Now I'm going to draw another another cylinder coming out perpendicular to this sketch. So again, the circle tool, arbitrary radius, and extrude that. Okay, we'll extrude that this way. And again, just turn that into a surface so we can see through it and accept that. Now then, in order to turn this into a clean T-shaped type junction without this extra material on the inside, you have to merge the two different cylinders here. So to do that, okay, just click and then control click both cylinders and use the merge tool and you might be able to see there's an orange rings in here and they show what part of the cylinder will be kept and what part will be removed after merging. So if it's orange, it means it'll be kept. Okay, so at the moment the wrong bit is highlighted on orange. We want this bit and this cylinder to be highlighted in orange. So to change that, you just click on these arrows here. Okay, so that's that cylinder correct. And that's the other cylinder correct. Okay, so that they now re removed the correct material. So when I accept that, there we have a clean T-junction. And... Uh, so as we're not getting singularities or very high stress concentrations at these areas when we analyze it in Abacus, I'm just going to apply a very small radius around here. So yeah, okay, eight's fine. Okay. And now you see that's a nice smooth junction in there. So that's the pro engineer modeling side of it done. So to move on to the next bit, uh, first of all, we have to st save this as a step file. So file, save as save a copy and I'm just going to save it onto my desktop and make sure that it's a step file okay and the default is fine okay so now that, that's saved to the desktop so the next thing we want to do is go into Abacus so we can import the model and then try to analyze it I won't be doing the analyzing but just show you how to import. So the next thing that we have to do then, okay, we're in Abacus, open, uh, find the desktop. Okay, wrong option, we're supposed to import it. Okay, file, import, and part. Now find the desktop. And it's a step file, and there's the frame step. OK, so one of the things to bear in mind here is that, OK, because it's a, we didn't import a solid model, we imported a surface. So use shell to apply shell elements to it. OK, and then the next thing is instead of uh, creating different instances for the different cylinders 
just click combine into single part and that'll mean that our merged our merged product that we did in Pro Engineer will be will come in as one single instance as opposed to several different parts. So combine into single part and okay. Uh, this seems to come up every some every time I do it, saying that the part frame contains imprecise geometry. It hasn't seemed to cause a big problem when analyzing, but uh, that's how you get a part anyway from Pro Engineer or Creo into Abacus, and I'm assuming it would be the same way for SolidWorks models as well. Okay, thanks.